Okay, I'm back. So, <clears throat> not only she promised me extra pay for my efforts and then she didn't provide. Um, that environment and those people I was working with, there were some toxic behind people. They're so toxic, man. The older generation that's in, um, that's in the field. If you see a young person get in the field trying to do the right things, you know, doing their best that they can, disability or not, wouldn't you like try to like take them under your wings and just like guide them, support them? But no, these <laughs> heifers <laughs> would put me down, like make me cry, make me feel less than. Like, I can't count how many times I had to get on the phone with my best friend or my big sister in Christ, you know, just crying my out, my eye out, like, and questioning my worth, and that was not cool at all. They would talk about me behind my back, they would just say slick stuff. I know I might not be, like, the best at, at it, being, like, physically wise. But it's like I know what I'm doing. I went to this. I went to school just like you did. I did the training that just like you did. I might not be able to do the physical stuff, but I darn well know how to teach, how to keep um, the kids engaged and not hurt themselves. For you guys who been so like rude about the situation, that was wrong of you guys. And you know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking about. You, you, you watching. I know you watching. Yeah, that was not, that's not, I hope you change, for real. Cause that was not cool at all. But anyways, and that was that. Um, the, the, and then the toxicity, it continues. So I go to the next, um, All right, my dears, I had to transfer from outside to inside because of um, the people were working out there in the grass and causing ruckus. After the whole deal with those toxic co-workers, um, I had transferred to another daycare. Um, so this daycare, my friend was working as a three-year-old teacher there and she knew that I was looking so she um, put a good word in for me I started to work as a floater again so they started me out with the two-year-old and then gradually helping with the with the four-year-olds usually I work threes and up just like um floating around the same old deal it was still toxic but just a little bit better it was a much younger crowd like my more of my age it was a more versatile environment i could um, you know relate better with them they were very much like um understanding in my situation and also always wanting to like lend a helping hand i remember there was a particular class the tutorial class so my friend that got me the job um things started to happen at the preschool and um she decided to leave for her personal re reasons and she was a really great teacher and like the kids loved her and the parents loved her but she wasn't receiving any type of help from management so that was stressful for her so she decided to just like you know move to a whole nother field that there and the three-year-old was a lot of kids about three different 
kids that needed special attention because they have like eight ADHD and they also are biters and some of them would have accidents on themselves so it was a lot to deal with and the management the management didn't want to give her extra help within the classroom so it was really stressful on her so that's why she decided to move on therefore they didn't have anybody to be in that class the assistant like she's like assistant director but not really she's just like an extra person that does extra activities so as they were looking for a new teacher for the class she would step in but the problem is that particular class was a handful nobody really was able to like deal with them or want to deal with them so they were just like running a like just so i wanted to take on that challenge to really like engage with the kids get them to like not run around and just like being bad just like focus on their work and you know behave after my friend had left that person they decided to put in there she wasn't really like mentally she wasn't really able to deal with the kids because she had some issues where i don't know exactly the type of sickness she had but um different things would like cause her to have seizures and things and uh, and have to go to the hospital and things like that so basically mentally she wasn't able to handle that and it just kind of like threw her in there and i remember they had hired a teacher <laughs> and then a teacher went on her break and she never came back because that's how bad the um that classroom was i remember like you know wanting like to prove myself to the um director there um you know that i can handle it i can handle the kids and then so i st they started putting me there I just start like reading to the kids getting them to calm down and stuff just doing different things to like engage with the kids i got i was able to get the kids um behave like even when like um my co-workers uh, my boss would come in the um the classroom they would see it's like a whole new like atmosphere like everybody would be quiet and like on the carpet just like doing circle time like not you know just like behaving she would be like wow claire you know you're really doing a great job with the kids like i'm loving it like you know just things like that she would say i felt like i was feeling myself whatever you know or whatever i'm a person i've i always try to <laughs> Excel. I'm a person who always wants to ex excel, ex excel, <laughs> to level up, like you know, to infinity or whatever. As much as God puts in me, everybody saw that I was able to um, manage the classroom. And the only thing I needed help with was displaying their work. Because that particular daycare program, they focus more on like the appearance of the classroom instead of like what kids are actually learning. And that was kind of upsetting to me. And mind you, the teachers would have to get in a ladder to reach all the way up to the walls and having it all fancy for like tours and stuff. Like, who got time for that to do that every single week? Every week, you have to, like, 
change the theme in the classroom. You putting stuff on, like, and you putting stuff on, but and the and the walls and stuff. But you don't really have time to like engage in stuff with the with the kids. I had an assistant that would help me. Either she would help me, or um. The assistant director would help me put the stuff on the walls, but it came a time that she didn't want to do it no more. That you know she didn't really enjoy the job anymore for you know her own personal reasons or whatever. So it's like I had no help, and the stuff began to the task began to accumulate and became overwhelming to handle on my own my support system was no longer there I brought it to my director's attention saying that you know I don't mind I could use the challenge you know since I'm good at it and I have all my paperwork so why not I want to take on the challenge Instead of being a floater, I would like to be a lead teacher for that classroom. So she was like, sure. Like, yeah, like if, you know, if the kids are continuing to like listen to you and you, you're like continuing like managing the classroom well, yes, I will give you the position. That's what she said. Some of the parents, you know, they had an issue with having me as a lead teacher. They used to, my friend, they used to like the other lady, but I guess they just needed, for their kids, they needed structure. But I could provide the structure, you know. But I guess, you know, people had their doubts because, you know, of my disability. Instead of like, um supporting me and her decision or instead of giving me extra training where I could like do a better job that the kids parents could be more confident in me as a teacher she that I did not feel you know the support from her so I remembered, you know, I asked her again about being, <coughs> sorry, I remember she sent out a note to the parents saying that she's still looking for a teacher, basically that I wasn't going to be in that position. I have a problem when it comes to leadership, like promising things and they do not do what they say like I have a problem with like leadership lying like why do you have to lie like just be real if you don't feel comfortable with me being a lead teacher because of the parents you afraid of you are gonna lose um clientele or whatever you know just let me know be honest instead of like lying to me I did I started to act out like I didn't have no respect for her so it started <laughs> to start to show in my attitude and it's like I didn't care if she was my boss or not type of thing which is really not good in my part you know I was really like pushing it or whatever that's not as a Christian, that's not how you act. You Remember, we fight against the spirit, not flesh and blood. So, um, whenever you're dealing with like different warfare at the workplace or with life in general, I would just suggest that you bring it up to God and you pray and you fast and you just ask Him for strength and you just talk about it to your fellow um, people with the same faith as you so like confess to them confess your sins to them and things like that 
I was just not. I was really annoyed like by her. Like I would give her attitude. She would come in the room. I would not say nothing to her. She would say something to me. I was and then like my coworker could be like, Claire, like you need to stop that. Well, I just I didn't care. So um so I remember it was her and her boss called me in the office. Um so basically I I let it known. I told her boss everything that she had said. And then, she, of course, she lied. She was like, no, I didn't say that. Blah, 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 blah. Like, why would I lie about that? Something like that. Um, so, so instead of, like, me not working, they decided to transfer me to... It's the same daycare but it's like a di different center it didn't work out at that center and i became really depressed i fell into a really deep deep like dark depression and really like just working um just to pay the bills but i wasn't really feeling fulfilled in any type of way so the passion of working with kids started to dissipate but fortunately I found a another outlet which is photography so I began to you know dibble and dabble in photography and I found that I really like it so it's like I found a new passion in life so that's why I really want to focus on more is just my arts my own business i realize like i am not a person who could be an employee i'm more like a boss type like i'm an entrepreneur at heart i'm a leader so i believe god put me in a place so i could learn from people so i can know what to do and what not to do and just dealing with like you know people that's what I'm working on right now. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Also, friends, please remember to like, share, and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell.